Hello, everybody. Well, if you'd have told me two weeks ago that I'd be streaming all of my yoga classes online, I don't think I would have believed you. Um, but thank you so much to everyone who's coming online and, and still supporting the business. So I'm going to be running some classes. Some are going to be pre-recorded like this one, and some of them are going to be live. Um, they're going to be a little bit more rough and ready than you know the, the professionals who've got thousands and thousands of followers online. I really appreciate anyone who is going to support me here. Please give me your feedback. Let me know what you think about the classes, the sound, um, the video quality, all that sort of thing, and then I can help to improve them for you so you can keep your practice. I'm also a member of a CrossFit group and Steve who runs it, CrossFit Cheltenham, um, made a really important point that for our, for our health, for our physical, our, our immune system, it's really important that we keep moving. And so this is going to be a really short practice that you can fit in maybe in these early days, but it's going to be very difficult to find time as we try and figure out what this new life is going to be like for the next however long. Um, so this is just a short practice that you can just use to maybe see if yoga is for you at home, um, how to just get rid of any aches and pains, that sort of thing. So it's suitable for beginners, suitable for everyone. Okay, so I should have got a post up there somewhere um, with all the details about what you would need for a yoga practice. Probably won't need too much of that here, probably will just need um, a pillow if you have tight hips. So I'll just go through that first. Oh, it's not practice. Right, hang on. Okay, so let's start the practice in Sukhasana. So that's our easy seat. So you're sitting cross the legs, you've got the sit bones right down on the floor. And we want the knees to be in line with the hips, ever so slightly higher is okay. But if you're finding that your knees are a bit high here, grab yourself a pillow, or if you have a block or anything like that at home as well, sit down on here and then you'll notice oh, that your knees will go a bit lower, your spine will be a bit straighter. Take a moment, settle in. And that's it. Roll the shoulders round and back and down. We're just going to do some gentle movement with the breath. So breathing in, take the shoulders up. Breathing out, take them back and down. Just doing some nice big shoulders. Just opening up the chest. Oh. Maybe settle the shoulders down. And the next thing we're going to do is just work on the neck. So start by taking your right ear to your right shoulder. Okay, breathe in, roll back, and breathe out, roll to the other side. That's it, so we're breathing in to roll back, and then breathing out to roll to the other side. Lovely, breathing in, roll back, and out to the other side. Breathing in, breathing out. So stay going around and back from one to the other, if that feels nice. If you want to, you can take it into a full circle. So breathing in, take it back. Breathing out, rolling down. And breathing in, rolling back. Breathing out, rolling down. That's it. Keep those shoulders nice and soft. And see if you can keep that connection in with the breath. So you're breathing in to roll back, breathing out to roll down. Just keep it soft, keep it steady. And we're going to roll the other way if that's what you're doing. We're still breathing in to open up. And we're still breathing out to roll down. That's it. Take two more of these lovely big circles. And 
And then when you're ready, you're going to slowly take the head back up. Breathe in and circle the arms up overhead. Lift the gaze, look up. Why are we stretching the fingers right away? That's it, but keep the shoulders back and down. So just think about your shoulder blades parting and dropping down your back, but still trying to lift. Maybe you're trying to grab that last toilet roll. It's just there right in front. Take one more breath in here. And as we breathe out, we're gonna to twist to the right. So twist to the right, stretch your hands down. We wanna take the right hand down to the floor. Start by stretching the left arm away and look over your right shoulder, like this. Okay, so, so you're looking over your right shoulder. And then we're gonna take that hand down into the outside of this leg. Take a breath in, stretch up and take a breath out, twisting over, that's it. So we're twisting over, and you're trying to look behind your shoulder here. So you breathe in to sit up a bit taller, and breathe out, see if you can twist a bit more. So we're still connecting in with the breath, breathing in to lift, breathing out to twist more. Lovely. So you can keep the breath. Just using all of your lungs. So the breath will be coming down here. Take one more breath in. Okay, then with the breath out, we're gonna release. Back to center, nice. Now breathe in, stretch the arms up, looking up. Okay. Got some antibacterial gel here to try and get. Take another breath in. Okay, we're gonna breathe out, stretch forwards this time. That's it, hands down onto the floor. Push your hips back and lift up your gaze. We wanna be trying to keep the back, so we'll go sideways here. What, what we want to be doing is keeping that back straight. So we're not folding forwards down like this. We're trying to keep the spine straight and fold forwards. And this helps us to hinge from the spine a bit more. And let your hips really relax so your knees are falling out as far as they can. Breathing in and then breathing out. Remember, if you have any questions about any of the practice here, just leave a message down underneath and I'll get back to you or send me a private message if you want to. Okay, so take one more breath in and then we are going to walk ourselves back up. Breathe in, stretch the arms up. Okay, breathe out, we're twisting, taking this left hand down onto the floor and stretching the right arm away. Looking over your left shoulder, keeping the spine nice and lifted. Shoulders down. And that connection with the breath. Breathing in and breathing out. And then we're gonna take that hand down to the outside of that thigh. Take a breath in to sit up. And then breathe out, twist further. Lovely, keep twisted. I'm just here so I can still keep talking and I'm not looking at, um, at my dress. Ugh. Breathing in and breathing out. One more breath in. We're gonna breathe out, take the gaze forward and then release. Now we're going to make our way onto all fours. Take the pillow away, turn to the length of the mat, make your way onto all fours. Okay. Press down on the floor with your hands, that's it. Tuck your toes under, we're going to push the hips back. See, it's just feel a bit of a stretch on the back of your feet here. And then walk the hands forwards and just look down. Maybe lift up onto the fingertips so you can really stretch your back. Breathing in. Breathing out. One more breath in. And one more breath out. Lovely now. Hands onto the floor. We're going to lift the knees up. 
making our way to downward facing dog, take a, just a little bit of adjustment. So we want to be trying to encourage the spine to be straight, so not like this, and trying to get the heels flat. We want to be bending the knees slightly first, get your spine straight, and then maybe adjust your legs. Spread the shoulder blades apart, push those hips right up. Lovely. Breathing in and breathing out. Breathing in and breathing out. Okay. And walking your feet towards your hands. We're going to go into a forward fold. If you can get your hands onto the floor, then do. Otherwise, you can bend the knees slightly. Just let the head go heavy. Let the hands go heavy. Let the whole of the top half go really floppy. <sighs> Not when this head's lifted. I want them really heavy, down like this, flopping right down. And just take a moment to reconnect with that breath. We want to be trying to breathe in through the nose and out through the nose. Lift those hips up a bit more, let the whole of the top half of the body just feel like it's elongating a little bit, so you're just making it a little bit longer. Breathing in. And then when you're ready, squeeze your tummy muscles in. So you're trying to draw those muscles in and roll up. So one vertebra at a time. All the way. Okay. Well, you can't see the top of my body here. Well, we're going to do our best, starting with a Tadasana. So still facing the front of your mat. <sighs> we want the feet in line. Knees slightly bent, so they're not locked. But just a slight bend. Palms forward, chest open, lifting up. We're going to be lifting up through the crown of the head. Lovely breathing in, circle the arms up, overhead. Breathing out, forward fold. Breathe in, lift up halfway. Breathe out, forward fold. Okay, what you take one small step back with your right foot. Sit pushing the heel back. Straightening both legs if you can. You can take your hands off the floor. And then we're going to breathe in, lifting up. Breathing out, take your hands, clasp them behind your back, shoulder blades together. We're going to fall forwards. That's it, lift the arms away. So we're really opening up the chest. And also, you should be getting a really nice stretch as well across the back of this leg here. I want you to be pushing back on the back of the heels. I want you to be opening your hips back behind you. Okay, breathing in and breathing out. Breathing in. Okay, breathe out, take your hands back down. We're gonna bend the knees slightly. Lifting ourselves up, take the arms up and take them down. Right, both feet together, breathing in, arms go up, breathing out, forward fold. Breathing in, halfway lift, breathing out, forward fold. Now this time it's the left leg, small step back, heel back on the ground. That's it, you can take, if you, um, if you need to take your hands off the floor to straighten front leg, do. We're gonna breathe in, take the arms up. Take your hands into a prayer with your fingertips pointing behind you. Okay, that's it. Lift up your gaze, we're gonna stretch forwards. <sighs> breathing in, breathing out. Breathing in, nice long spine. Okay, breathing out. Bend your knees, take your hands down onto the floor. You want to take both feet together, straightening up slightly, fold forward again. Okay, and then slowly make your way down onto the floor. So we're going to lie down. <sighs> I want you to take your feet out nice and wide onto the edges of the mat. So take your feet out nice and wide on the edges of the mat. Or take your arms out into a T-shape if you have this space. Otherwise, cactus arms. So with the fingertips pointing up towards the edge of the mat, elbows in line with each other. And we're gonna breathe in. 
And then breathe out, take your knees over to one side. So breathing into center. And breathing out, taking them over to the other side. Breathing in. And breathe out to center. Breathing in. Breathe out, take it over. Lovely breathing in. Breathing out to center. Breathing in. Breathing out over to the other side. So take it one more time, breathing in. Breathe out to center. Breathing in. And breathing out over to the other side. Breathing in. Breathe out to center. Breathing in. And breathe out over to the side. Take one more breath in. Okay, breathe out. That's it. Knees back into center. I want you to take both knees. Give them a nice big squeeze. That's it. Oh, if it feels nice, you can rock from side to side here. Straighten out your left leg, squeeze the right knee in, push the left heel away, flex the right foot. That's it. If you want to, just start to close your eyes. We're going to take both knees in and swap over. So keep those feet flexed, toes drawn towards you, like your life depended on it. Breathing in, breathing out, breathing in, and breathing out. Okay, slowly take that leg down. We're gonna settle down and just have a very quick shavasana. So if you have your pillow, maybe you want to lie on it if that feels comfortable. If you have a blanket or you want to put extra layers on, do that too. And then find a comfortable place for a shavasana. So maybe taking the feet out to the edges of the mat, maybe taking the arms out. But just find a position where you feel that you can completely surrender down onto the floor where every muscle can let go. I'm just going to move into a seated position, but you stay where you are. And just resting your eyes. So keeping the eyes closed. Just imagine your body melting. Melting down onto the mat. All that tension completely melted away. Maybe try following your breath in and out and visualizing it as waves lapping against a warm, sandy beach. Breathing in. Breathing out, breathing in, breathing out. Just noticing your body becoming more comfortable. If you're noticing your mind starting to wander, that's completely okay. Just gently guide it back using your breath. Flowing in and flowing out.
If you feel comfortable, stay here for as long as you like. We're going to slowly start to notice the body again. Maybe give the fingers and the toes a wiggle. Maybe take the head left and right. Start to become more aware of the noises in the room around you. And when you're ready, just gently roll onto one side. Just keep your eyes rested. Keep yourself comfortable. Whenever you're ready, gently lift yourself up into an easy seat. The light in me honours the light in you. Thank you so much for your practice today. Namaste.